I had the worst food poisoning I've ever had in my whole life the night before the grand final. And so I was on the drip in hospital from 9 till midnight the night before the grand final, from 6 a.m. till 9 a.m. at the ground and at halftime on grand final day. What? Did, and no one knows about that. The club does. The boys know. Now we do. Yeah, everyone <laughs> knows. That's, mate, that's unbelievable. So it was like the worst preparation you could have ever And you had a imagined. good game. Yeah, I, I did okay. Do you, think, well, do you think that sometimes, not that that's a blessing, because it's not, but sometimes going into a big game and take, taking your mind off playing, mm. that's, that's well, it's, enormous. It was, it was pretty scary because like I was touch and go from actually even – been able to play. To play, yeah. So um, I remember we got to the ground. I still hadn't, like Max Hudson got told the night before, bring your bags. He hadn't played all, like he played a couple of games during the year. Holy bring your shit. bags. You're gonna, probably going to play Zach. He's no good. Um, and so he's probably thinking I'm going to play. And, you know, so I rocked up to the ground thinking I'm probably 20% chance. Hadn't drank anything, hadn't eaten anything, couldn't keep anything down. And <clears throat> had a meeting with Ross. Right before the game. The boss. Ross, the boss. And it went to this extent. It was like, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm right. Because I heard you've been pretty crook. Yeah, I've been yeah, really crook. <clears throat> he goes, you're going to be okay? I said, um, yeah, it should be all right. He goes, well, make sure you make the right fucking call. He goes, this is going to make or break a friendship. 